Hi, my name is Astrid Newman, and I'm an independent curator based in Dublin. I'm pleased to present Wax Rhapsodic at the Lab Gallery. The exhibition is free and open to the public and runs until Saturday, the 22nd of January, 2022. Wax Rhapsodic is an exhibition of works from the Masters in Art and Research Collaboration, also known as ARC. The ARC program is offered by Dunleary Institute of Art, Design and Technology, with classes taking place at the lab. The exhibition is a group show with sculpture, installation, film and sound work by 10 artists studying on the program. The show also includes works by Dia Lagan, who is the Artist Protection Fund Fellow in residence at IADT. The works in the exhibition delve into a number of motifs, from sculptural works that explore the fashion industry, urban spaces and infrastructure, to video works that lead us into the world of gaming. Pulled together, the works form a unique composition that at times echo our noisy surroundings, but also offers up moments of quiet contemplation, inviting us to consider the present through a collision of visual, aural, and kinesthetic prompts. Una's body of work, Active Forgetting, consists of experimental works realized primarily through print, but also through film and alternative photography processes. Una's film, Touching Time, explores the legacy of betrayal involving both people and institutions of the state. Isabella's works are displayed as spatial arrangements of prints in different sizes, in a configuration determined by lines and texture. Sheer, meaning west in Irish, concerns the idea of choice, not the consequence of choice, but the very moment of making it, a continuous culmination of an uncertain agency. Dermot is a multidisciplinary artist working with sculpture, film, and sound. The Intruders is an acoustic sculpture incorporating an arrangement of found objects. This noise-creating form harnesses the energy of multiple things and gives them a kind of life. John works primarily with portraiture. Kathleen Goodfellow was a philanthropic patron of the arts and gifted a bird sanctuary, the Grove, in Donnybrook to Antashka. In Intention, Place and Legacy, John presents a portrait of Kathleen Goodfellow's legacy, drawing from histories of art, culture and literature to explore personal relationships with place. Dia is a multidisciplinary artist originally from Aleppo, Syria. His paintings and sculptures often directly reference Islamic art and architecture, using light and shadow to explore geometric and organic forms. His practice serves as a meditation on identity and rebirth amid the perplexity of transnationalism. Lucy is an artist with a background in the fashion industry. Making It Last is a series of soft sculptures informed by research into production and consumption practices and the physical architecture of fashion retail display. Each piece is made by dismantling discarded items of clothing, which are slowly woven and knotted into large textured forms. Gillian's multidisciplinary practice explores themes of transformation, escapism, and climate change. Pulse is an immersive video work featuring a number of real and imagined curious characters in the form of miniature carnivorous plants and greenhouse militants. The work explores the tension between human power dynamics and the natural world. Elida is a Wicklow-based artist with roots in Guatemala and Spain. Since 2017, her ongoing project, I Am A Forest, has involved seed gathering, tree propagation, and wildlife and art workshops with her local school and other communities. This iteration of I Am A Forest focuses on birdsong, music anthropology and archaeology, presenting a musical notation system based on the spectrogram 
of Wicklow Birdsong. Anthony's work often responds to urban environments of structure and assembly, drawing from the architectural, the constructed, the precise, and the engineered. His work, pulled into existence through tension, explores the connections and interfaces between familiar forms and materials. Cathy is a visual artist and curator based in Belfast. As I Cannot Write takes its title from an embroidery sampler made in the 1800s, but deals with experiences that remain current by exploring situations where people have felt silenced or unable to speak. Using gesture, movement, and ritualized physical actions, Cathy employs the needle as the pen to create a form of coded communication through her stitched stories. Francis's work leads us into the gaming world, guiding the viewer through a desolate and bleak landscape on the quest of the player. Your eyes are melting me, asks us, how do we meet our need for human connection when we're somewhere we don't feel we belong? I'd like to thank Sheena Barrett, Shannon Carroll, Maeve Connolly, Sinead Hogan, David Beatty, Derek Larkin, Jamie Cross, and all of the team at the Lab Gallery. You can find more information about the exhibition on dublincityartsoffice.ie and at arcidt.ie.